This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by victorious Joey Knight. Joey, congratulations on a successful Misfits debut. Yep. Tell me about it in there tonight. It was good. Do you know what? I was? Uh, I never really felt the nerves tonight, and I've always had a thing about if you don't feel nerves, it's not that good. But I was confident, you know what I mean? I, I knew I was boxing well. Um, I took in everything from this week. It's a big experience. I've boxed before, but I've never boxed on this stage. And I was, I, was, I was boxing well as a result of the added pressure. You know what I mean? I was boxing good. I was looking good, you know. In my uh, hotel room earlier and yesterday, I had the moustache sort of shaped off. I put a bit of tint on that. So that was very strong and obviously helped me, you know, have quite a strong um, manly performance. Obviously, you didn't know much about your opponent most wanted in there tonight. Did it make so much of a difference not knowing that? And in the first round, you kind of, I guess, figured them out? Um... No, I knew he was going to be orthodox anyway, because I've seen him on the pads. There was a thing of, is he orthodox, is he southpaw? But the, the smart money is, when you watch him on the pads, see what one they punch better out of, and he was a lot better of an orthodox fighter. It was actually a moment in there when I'm pretty sure I went southpaw. Mm. Um, but listen, now all said and done, you'll... I, I'd, mate, I'd like grade my performance like a, a 5 out of 10 or something like that, and that's no disrespect to most wanted, really, really respect most wanted, hope to see him in more fights on here, and a top bloke, You've got a bit of a bad reputation like online and stuff, but I can only take people as I find them, and he was a top bloke. But um, I think the, the greater the challenge, the higher the level of opposition, the better you're going to see from me. The so, more you step up to it, almost. Yeah, that's the one. That's the yeah. one, yeah. Okay. So you say you give it a 5 out of 10, but you did get a stoppage. You didn't, it didn't go all the way. Mm. You've got one, one win, one KO. Wasn't oh. that pillow fisted, was I? Yeah, it looked pretty nice. Mm. looked pretty smooth out there. Mm. Who do you want to fight next, and when? Uh, mate, I'll have any of them next, to be honest. Listen, I, do you know what? Um, like I said about fighting Dean before, right? Mm. And I think it come across maybe a little bit disrespectful at the time. Do you know what I mean? And I don't mean that. Like, I, I, I'm hoping that you can now see why I rate myself highly. And the reason, the reason being why I rate myself highly is why I called out Dean. Because I look at Dean and I go, you're the man. You're the best in the division. Dean's a very good fighter. But I believe I can beat Dean the Great. But that's not because I don't respect Dean the Great. And ultimately, if you're Dean, maybe you're going to look at other fights. You might look at a Jose Aldo fight that's been rumoured. You might look at a few other guys with, let's be honest, bigger profiles than myself. But for the Misfits fans who, yeah, they like their influence and stuff, but they do want to see good, well-competitively matched fights, me and Dean's a super fight, man. That's a, that's a really, really good dust-up. So I'd love that one, but I understand I might have to have a few more. And Mams Taylor, if you're watching, thank you very, very much for the opportunity. And thank you for keeping your promise, as I know you will. He said he'll have me on that London card in April. So let's do that. Let's bring a massive crowd to London and sell a fair few hundred tickets, yeah? You reckon you can sell a few hundred tickets? Yeah, man, of course. Nice. Definitely in London, yeah. Nice. Awesome. Congratulations. Top man. Very well appreciate done. it. Thanks for your time this Good week. Man.